This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson 12, interpret the remainder. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. When we interpret the remainder, that basically means we look at what's left over and decide if we need more of, an, of a subject or, some, or less. So let's do an example here to show you what I mean. There are 46 students volunteering at a senior citizen community. There is a maximum of six students in each group. How many groups are needed? Okay, so we're gonna do 46 divided by six. So I'll do the division first. Here's my divisor. I'm gonna ask myself, how many times does six go into four? Well, six is bigger than four, so it can't go into four. So I can put um, a space holder right here. Okay, then I'll look at both numbers. Six goes into 46 how many times? I know that four times, six times eight is 48, but this isn't enough, so I'm gonna have to go seven. Six times seven is 42. When I subtract, I get four, so I have a remain, I have seven with a remainder of four. All right, so let's go back to the question and see what it's asking. There are 46 students volunteering at a senior citizen community and there's a maximum of six students in each group. How many groups are needed? Well, I know that I have seven groups right here, and then I end up with four leftover people. Well, they need to be in a group two, so I'm gonna need to say that the answer is eight. I will need eight groups. All right, let's look at the next one here. Four employees of Papa Tony's Pizza are cleaning up at the end of a busy night. There is a list of 43 cleanup tasks that need to be completed. If each employee does the same number of tasks, how many tasks would each employee do? So we have 43 cleanup tasks and we have four employees. Now, it already tells us we're going to have a remainder, so we're gonna to have to decide what to do with the remainder. So let's go ahead and do 43 divided by four and you can figure out that answer. We know that we're going to have a remainder. So what I'm gonna to have to ask myself is, all right, after everybody does their share of the, of the tasks, and I have some leftovers, what are we gonna do with these? Probably, okay, we're gonna have a few left over, or we could say that um, two of the people are gonna to have to do an extra job, or three of the people will have to do an extra job. Write something like that once you figure it out. Okay, let's look at the back. All right, on exercises two and three, you need to explain how you interpreted the remainder. So let's take a look. Mrs. Flores is buying scrapbooks for her store. Her budget is $350, and each scrapbook costs $9. How many scrapbooks can she buy? So we'll figure that out. 350 divided by nine. You'll go ahead and do the division. I can see that nine won't go into three. So I'll need a placeholder and then ask myself how many times nine will go into 35. Okay, I'll figure out the answer. I will have a remainder. And once I get the remainder, then I need to go back and see what this is asking. So it says that Mrs. Flores is buying scrapbooks for her store and her budget is $350. Each scrapbook costs $9. How many scrapbooks can she buy? You'll get the answer and then you'll have a remainder. Now, let's say that the remainder ends up being like four. Can she buy another scrapbook if she has $4 left over? No. So you're not gonna round up this time. You're gonna have to stay with whatever this number is right here. All right, let's look at number three. Water stations will be placed every 400 meters of a five kilometer race. How many water stations are needed? And one kilometer is a thousand meters. Okay, so it's a five kilometer race. Wow. Okay, so on this one, Let's figure out how many meters there are. Okay, so we're gonna do five kilometers times 1,000 to get how many meters there are. There will be 5,000 meters, and I'm going to divide by 400 meters. 
Okay, so remember when we divide, we can cancel out. These zeros can cancel each other out. These zeros can cancel each other out. And then I'll need to do 50 divided by 4. So I'll put 50 divided by 4 into a division box and figure out the answer. Okay, this one, write a real world problem that is represented by the division problem 38 divided by 5 equals 7 with a remainder of 3, in which it makes sense to round the quotient up to 8. Well, I know if I'm doing something like, if I'm using tables, I'd have to have another table if I have a remainder. If I'm doing people in cars or vans, I'm going to have to round up because I'd have to have enough cars or enough vans. Okay, so you could use tables or cars, or if you think of something else, that would be fine. And then you're going to write your own real-world problem. So you could use something like this. This is a real-world problem. So you could say, like, the students are going to um, on a field trip. You could say there are 38 students going and five people can fit in a car or a van. Okay, how many vans will they need or how many cars will they need? That's what you're going to do is something like that. All right, let's look at number five. Three yards of fabric will be cut into pieces so that each piece is eight inches long. How many pieces can be cut? One yard equals 36 inches. Looks like we have three yards. So we're going to take three yards multiplied by 36 to figure out what our big number is. So you'll do 36 times three to get that answer. Then whatever this answer is, we'll go into a division box and you'll divide by eight. Okay. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.